Fitness Boxing 2 updated to version 1.0.4 on 1st or 2nd of July depending on your time zone and brought with it a slew of new changes for accessibility as well as bug fixes and adjustments. So we're going to take a quick look through these alterations and why this is a win for the game. First up, looking at these release notes we can see that there are additional settings for the stage animations. There are now three levels of stage animations in settings under the basic settings tab. Normal is the same as it's always been. Light removes the bright flashing areas from the background when you go into the zone, i.e. you fill up the meter and do repeated combos as well as the visual effects on the combo lane. You still gain the same amount of points for zone combos but they just do not have the accompanying lights. Finally, simple mode keeps the workouts in the light blue warm up and cool down area with no zone animations triggering. These three options are a great step forward for accessibility for those who are photosensitive and the multiple tiers of options give a decent level of customization across the board for different eyes. For those who struggle with seeing the icons as they rise and such, I think this is absolutely fantastic. It really adds to the playability of the game for some people who I know were struggling. Next is the further display changes during exercise which applies to all exercise sessions. They've increased the size of the move icons as they appear on the screen, making them easier to distinguish as well as making the footprints and time remaining areas more pronounced with larger text and a highlighted box. Also, the colour of the combo lane was adjusted from yellow to light purple. This increases visibility for these important parts of the user interface, again increasing playability as you can see what punch you need to throw and the foot position you need to be in at that time a lot easier. I imagine the change in colour lane is great for those who are colour blind because it means that certain action icons when they pop up are not blending in with that back colour lane, a great addition there. Next up are the bug fixes. They have fixed a calendar stamp display error that accompanied the first day of the week, which I personally hadn't encountered, but it's good to know that they are finding those errors and fixing them. Another error with the day count from transferred data from the demo and or fitness boxing one has been fixed as well. Next up, there are some adjustments. These are listed under bugs, but don't seem to be bugs as such. They've changed the text from the results from number of punches to number of actions. It always counted all actions like ducks, sways, and steps but actually just said number of punches. This just clears it up to be honest and that's pretty good. There are also adjustments to instructor comments during exercises and I'll level with you I haven't really noticed anything particular so far. I feel like I heard something different during one of the No Mercy workouts but I can't quite be sure. I'm not entirely sure if it's a specific trainer that they have changed or not but again it says that they've done it so I'm taking their word for it. Now the last change is an adjustment to the stretch movements. It literally says adjusted stretch movements. I went through my previous recordings of the stretches and compared them to this update and I'm not seeing any difference in the models nor with what they are actually saying. There doesn't seem to be any additional instruction or clarified instruction but when I did a daily workout the stretches it picked for the warm up and cool down were more focused on the body parts that I was using. It picked out more leg based stretches for the sessions where I was doing more foot and core movements and upper body stretches for a daily session focusing on uppercuts and straights. So what I feel like they mean by adjusted stretch movements is that they've adjusted the selection metrics to be more relevant to your daily workout and as a personal trainer that is a win. I was hoping it would mean they'd focus on dynamic for warm up and static for cool down but you can't get everything you want. So that's what the free update has added and frankly I'm very happy to see these changes. The flashing lights were a gripe not only of mine but of several members of the fitness boxing community so I'm glad we're seeing these moves being taken by Imagineerco to address genuine concerns with the game to make it more accessible. The visual enhancements in the UI to make writing and such stand out better is great as well. The bug fixes are always welcome and I definitely welcome changes in the stretching. I personally still dislike the cooldown the game does as it should be focusing on static stretches and not just be a straight repeat of the warm up but that's something they can fix for Fitness Boxing 3 right? As far as other parts that need to be improved, you know Imagineer if you are listening, the clock issue where the game is set to its own internal clock and not the clock off the switch needs fixing because it's really frustrating for us in Australia. I know we've just gotten the Musical Journey DLC and we're reportedly receiving a 90s pop dance pack, thanks Kimberly in the comments for alerting me, but it would be great to see some refreshments of routines, new combos and such being added. As I pointed out earlier, a better cooldown is necessary and I've got to say a versus mode being added from Fitness Boxing 1 
that would be really cool maybe with online might be asking too much point is version 1.0.4 is a great step forward for improving this game and i hope we see more improvements down the line thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments if you think this is a good update as well if you have noticed something that i've missed please let me know remember to like share and subscribe for more fitness boxing 2 content on the way i've been master trainer peter and i'll see you soon